So the next thing that we're going to talk about is controlling the formation of 1,2 and 1,4 products in the addition of um, HX to a diene. And this type of control is referred to as thermodynamic or kinetic control. And the products of the addition reaction to the diene are based on the temperature at which the reaction is conducted. So, for example, for this reaction, which we talked about in the last section, and we have two products. One of them is called the 1-2 product because HBr is adding to carbon number one and two of the four carbon system. Again, the numbers have absolutely nothing to do with the IUPAC numbering system for nomenclature. So we have the 1-2 and the 1-4 product, and if we do this reaction at zero, we see that the major product is the 1-2 addition product, and the 1-4 product is minor. If we do this reaction at 40 degrees, and we see the opposite, the major product is the 1,4 product, major, and the minor product is the 1,2. When we do this reaction at 0 degrees C and we form the 1,2 product primarily, we say that the reaction is under kinetic control. And I'll explain what is meant by kinetic control in just a second. And if we do the reaction at the warmer temperature and we favor the production of the 1,4 product, we say that the reaction is under thermo control, thermodynamic control. To explain the, how the temperature affects the formation of these two products, we're going to look again at the mechanism for the reaction. So we start by adding the hydrogen, attacking the hydrogen with, with one of the sets of pi electrons in, in one of the double bonds and forming a carbocation. And you know from the last section that the bromide ion will then attack the carbocation. And we'll get this product right here. And you also know that we have the possibility of resonance. which puts the positive charge in a different position. And that resonant structure can also be attacked by bromide. To give us the other product. So we know from what's written up here that this product is primarily formed when you're at cold temperatures. And this is the product that's primarily formed when you're working at warmer temperatures. And the explanation for this is that when we're at cold temperatures, at zero, this carbocation doesn't have the energy to rearrange itself into this resonant structure. And so it just tries to react as quickly as possible because there's not enough energy in the system for it to um, get itself over into this different type of carbocation which is not as stable. So we're going to say at zero degrees C, the cation does not have enough energy to rearrange and the reaction finish as quickly as possible. And because this process is all about just getting the reaction over with as quick as you can, 
hurry up and react because there's not a lot of energy in the system, just got to make it happen quickly, then we say that it's under kinetic control because kinetics, if you remember from Gen Chem, has to do with the rate of the reaction and how fast it proceeds. Now over here for this particular product, you know from what's written above that this product is primarily, is the one that's primarily formed when we're at warmer temperatures. When we're at warmer temperatures, the reaction has enough energy that the cation can rearrange itself to this other resonance structure. In doing so, it allows us it allows actually for the formation of the more stable alkene. If you remember back from what you know about alkenes, the terminal alkene, which only is um, monosubstituted, is not as stable as this um, internal alkene, which is at least disubstituted. So this product is more stable than this product up here. And because the higher temperatures allows for the formation of the more stable product, which has to do with energetics, we say that this process here is under thermal control. So at 40 degrees C, the cation has enough energy to rearrange and form the most stable alkene. So when you see these reactions written out, um, and you're predicting the products of these types of reactions, you do want to pay attention to the conditions of the reaction, specifically the temperature, because that helps you predict which product is major and minor. Although both of them are still going to form, it's just that one will be uh, in greater quantity than the other. Now here's an interesting thing. Very interesting. Um, if you take a diene and add, add HBr to it at zero degrees. Uh, you know that because it's cold, it's just going to do the fast reaction and form uh, the quickest product that it can, which is the one to addition product, which is not the most stable alkene. And then if you take this alkene, and actually even if you don't start this way, if you just start with this alkene, and all, all you do is just heat it up, you don't have to do anything, just warm it up, it will actually rearrange itself to form the internal alkene. Now this is the major product of the first step and then if you warm it up you're not going to convert everything but you're going to convert most of it into the, into the internal alkene which is really cool. So practice this with Skill Builder 17.2 and problems 17.10 through 12, 17.36, 37, and 39. And your study question is, how does temperature dictate the product of addition to a diene?